Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Andy. Even today is gonna be a short video. I'm just gonna be showing you guys what not to do when you're using the use context hook in React. All right, I'm probably gonna do a lot more of this series, but stick with me. All right, all right. So, what is use context? Use context is just a React hook that allows you to read and subscribe value to your component. All right. So, as you can see over here in the example, I just have a value that I want to use. So I'm basically just going to use the use context and inside it is just going to be some context. Let me show you an example of this in my code, right? So if I go into my client and I go into the context section, and as you can see, I have a lot of context sections. I'm going to tell you also what I did wrong over here and what I did right, right? So in the user authentication context, that is fine. I'm just assigning some types for the context type. And over here, as you can see, I'm just creating a context and passing in the types. And I just want to make sure, basically, if there is a user stored token, so if somebody is logged in and there is a GWT token stored to the local storage, I just want to make sure that that token is set. And also, the user information is basically just re-rendered in the use effect, right? And also, at the same time, to be logged out in one hour, all right? So... Basically, this is a correct way to use the uh, use context because if I want the login uh, GWT token to be accessed globally, that is what use context is for, right? It's going to be keep on re-rendering in the app. Let me show you how it is supposed to be rendered. If I go into app and app.tsx, again, I'm still fixing this. This should not be like this at all but I'm just showing you what it should be. So as you can see, I have the user auth provider and the business auth provider and also the shopping cart provider, right? What is wrong over here is the product provider and the bidding provider, right? Because basically, I do not need the products to be re-rendered each and every single time. Like for example, I'm going into this Nike, uh, this Nike sneakers, I don't want to be re-rendering the 250 products I had over here. So I had an example that was from like two months. I had 250 products that were rendered on the uh, back end, but that API request was sent to the front end. And each and every time I was using 250 products, it was just slow, right? Even if I'm going and chopping by category, as you could see also 250 products would be re-rendered and so on and so forth so that is not the best thing because why as you could see i'm just clogging up my application i'm clogging in my dom tree this is not something you should be using instead you should be using the user authentication and something like the dropping cart basically anything that's going to be accessed globally and you want it to be accessed globally on your whole application you can use it with the use context and at the same time do not add a large sum of data because you're going to be rendering that data in your application as you can see even re-rendering these providers in the app.tsx right if you want to use something like the product over here you want to get a lot of products in something similar to the use context you should not be using this you should be using something for example uh, from Redux, as you can see, this is React Redux. And as you can see, the interface for the provider over here is a little bit different because basically, I'm not going to explain, of course, the React Redux code, uh, like the exact internals of React Redux, but I'm going to show you what it does, like in terms of behavior. So if I go into source, I go into my store and I show you what I'm doing. So I do have a product slice, and what this product slice is doing is just has an initial state that's empty and as you could see it has a selected category so if the selected category exists it's basically everything is initialized that it's empty so i do not have to get the 250 products from the api and just show it to the client each and every time on a website i can just get the search results from the products and the selected category only same thing as the search query so basically what i'm doing is i am minimizing or optimizing my fetch requests from the API, right? So that is a correct use of uh, Redux in terms of products, for example. 
so that is what i would advise you do not use the use context in terms of a global state when you're fetching a lot of data if you're using it for something that's not going to take a lot of data basically just like authentication or something like the shopping cart because i want to go into my user page i want to go into category while i'm shopping and i just want to have that item in the cart maybe i'm gonna buy it maybe i'm not right but i don't want to lose that item so that is something that you could use the use context for and at the same time the authentication what i would advise you is again just to simplify things do not use the use context for a large sum of data because you're basically going to be rendering that large sum of data each and every time on your application if you're going to be doing that just make sure to optimize it and again you can use better tools for that all right so that's pretty much it you guys uh, for in terms of what to not do when you're using the use context took from react this was angry and i'll see you guys in the next video peace and i hope you guys have a beautiful day